What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. Today we are doing some really epic fails. Um, so basically, I am going to show an offensive attack and a defensive attack in a second here. Just collecting my stuff, uh, resetting up my base. Obviously, I just got attacked last night. And then I actually was so angry that I went to bed really late after getting defeated. And I decided to let myself take a second shield because I slept in. So I got attacked twice last night basically because I slept for like 10 hours. And I went to bed like 4 hours after I actually uh, took my first defense. So really big mistake on my part. But luckily only 2 trophies lost extra. Which is not that big a deal. Currently I'm actually building up my troops so I can donate here. You can see I was just donating some troops. But... I will be attacking soon. Even though I have 11 hour shield, I will be breaking that shield within the hour. Um, pretty much as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to break the shield and attack for 6 hours straight. I did accidentally let that second shield hit me, which means that I... Oh man, it sucks. But I lost only 2 trophies, so not a huge deal. We got kind of lucky on that one. And it was a 2 star on my base, which is rough. But I'm at 4064 and holding here pretty easily. Looking to get to 4100 and then see if we can get higher than that. Um, we are at level 5 on our air sweeper. Sorry, it is in the other language. It is in Norsk because I was talking to fans, guys. By the way, if you ever are curious why I'm on Norsk, I go on Norsk because it's smaller servers. And I find a ton of fans on there who know who I am. And I just talk to them and I'll tweet out pictures of me talking to fans and stuff. It's for fun. Uh, but here I am attacking. And I totally made a huge mistake here. And you're going to see what it is soon. It wasn't even that big a mistake. I just got really distracted in the middle. I don't know. It kind of was weird. I can't really explain what happened, but you guys can tell me if you see something that I'm missing. I did make a mistake somewhere, though, obviously, because I do lose this attack. And it was an offer for 36 cups. Up here, guys, that is insanity. You don't find that, really. And I absolutely was super pumped, and I went in hardcore. Thought I was going to crush it. And here we go. My king starts to get targeted, so I drop the, uh, I drop the free spell to distract the Inferno. And then I get my king in the center. And I'm holding it, holding it, holding it, waiting to rage him up. And wait for it a little longer. There goes the rage. All my barbarians come out. I take out the queen. My queen's being targeted pretty heavily, but she's under a rage spell, so she's doing some work. And now I got to invis her on the expo. So really good timing on that. These skeletons really hold me down here, unfortunately. The town hall is pretty low on health, and I do not get to kill it. And now I'm at 42%, basically chilling, trying to find a way to get to 49. I have 7 archers, 2 wall breakers, and 2 minions. So definitely, definitely going for it. And oh my god, 44%. Dropping down the archers really slowly, being very cautious about where I choose to go. Obviously trying to pick up all the buildings that are just out of range, just barely. Um, I am getting a few here, and it looks like 46% is possible. And then I'm just... Clearing out a few more. Unfortunately, those buildings are out of range. Or in range, I should say. This one is out of range. So we're going to get at least 47% at this point. And it looks pretty good right now. Looks like we might be able to get the 50. It's going to be very close. But it looked good at this point to me. I thought I was going to get it. And we're going to see what happens here. I literally have a minute left in this raid. And I'm just being very cautious on where I drop my troops. Um, you're going to see an interesting tactic that you can use if you uh, would like. If you haven't ever known this, your wall breakers do do damage on the other side of the wall. So as you can see, you just dropped two wall breakers and it took half the damage off of the uh, builder's hut. So they don't do a ton of damage, but they do damage buildings on the other side of the wall. So if there's only a small percentage of and you have wall breakers, don't just use them for distraction. Use them to actually do damage to buildings. It helps out a lot sometimes. Um, that should have been an easy 50% there. There's the 49 though. And here we go with 50%. Our guy is going for it. And she is working on it hard. She's got 15 seconds. And she is going and going. And it's taking forever, guys. I honestly should have had the town hall. And then I should have gotten this 50. Um, I failed on the town hall, unfortunately, which is stupid. And then look at this. I run out of time. My guy does... Oh, I couldn't believe this. It was minus 13 cups, which is not terrible. But guys, it would have been plus 13 or plus 26 or something like that and it would have been really really epic but instead I lose 13 cups and I get really angry and I have to actually take a break and so instead of continuing to play I actually log off because I basically if I'm angry I can't attack guys I'll just lose more than I'll win 
So it's really not worth it. It's, I'd rather take a defense and come back in like a few hours when I'm cool and just chill and just basically win then. Uh, but basically, here we go. Taking a defense now, and here's the defense I actually get. Now, this is kind of a fail on the attacker's part because he does get 49%, and you're going to see how. And he does get the win, though, obviously, because the town hall is a snipe. So you're going to see it's actually pretty funny. He does it. He tries so hard to get that second star and just cannot pull it off. So here we go, going into the base, and his level 33 king is being chased down by my golem. Or my, oh my god, that's my king. I forgot I leveled him up to 33. Holy crap. They're working together. Go, golem and king. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. I totally thought that was the enemy golem. Or enemy king, excuse me. So my king's dead. My queen is, or the queen is killing the golem. God, I cannot talk. Whatever. Anyway, so the main point is we got three golems left on this base. 26%. They're working their way into the center. Taking all the hits. Guarding their queen very well. And the queen is just doing some work here. Taking out some of this loot. And she's definitely getting a decent amount of it there. You can see 170,000 elixir. And now going for some gold. Only has 1,000 so far. But definitely will get a lot more as she gets into this base. And those golems did not stay in front of the queen. Which sucks for him. He could have easily gotten a 50 if he had. Uh, but here we go. 44. And taking out the expo. 47. And hits a wall. Boom. Can't get it. 48%. Got a golem left. And that golem's going to do some heavy damage when he explodes. But 49, I believe we're going to get here. And that's we have 49% on my base right there. So the golemite is going to explode and not even hit anything. So that's really unfortunate because it could have probably done damage on the Dark Elixir Drill. But instead, I got 49% and 10 trophies. 10 trophies is really good at this level. But considering he could have got 20, I bet he was really mad about this. And that makes me happy. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Slap that like, comment, subscribe. We're almost at 60k, so that video will be out soon. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.